Superfood Evolution presents Omega Fatty Acids, Essential Fats for Regulating Inflammation. Omega fatty acids are essential fatty acids that are essential because the body is not capable of manufacturing them and we need to consume them through the foods we eat. EFAs are also essential because they are needed by the body for our survival. They are vital components to such things as neurological functioning, cell membrane stability, oxygen transfer, inflammatory regulation, immune response, and cardiovascular maintenance. Omega fatty acids are the good fats that everyone needs to consume on a regular basis. They are linolenic and linoleic acids, called polyunsaturated fatty acids, PUFAs, that include at least one double bond in their molecular structure. There are two types of essential fats, omega-3 fatty acids and omega-6 fatty acids. Omega-3 fatty acid versus omega-6. There are two families of EFAs. One, omega-3 essential fatty acid, derived from alpha-linolenic acids, ALA. Omega-6 essential fatty acid, derived from linoleic acids, LA. An omega-3 fatty acid, from a chemistry standpoint, is a chain of carbon atoms in which there is a double bond after the third carbon atom. Omega-3s are also called alpha-linolenic acids, or AFAs. These are a group of 18 carbon chains with three double bonds. Certain enzyme systems come along to convert this omega fatty acid into other acids needed by the body. Omega-6 fatty acids are a different molecular composition with the double bond existing after the sixth carbon. Omega-6 acids need to be consumed in proper proportion to omega-3s. The general standard for this is between a 4 to 1 or 1 to 1 ratio. This means that for the amount of omega-6 foods you consume, you would need to eat at least one quarter of that amount in omega-3s. Balancing Intake of Omega Fatty Acids In a typical Western diet, high in refined vegetable oils, omega-6 is much higher than omega-3 at between an average 10 to 1 to 20 to 1 ratio. Too much omega-6 can cause inflammation in the body and other related health conditions we will discuss much further in this video. Omega-3 fatty acids act as an anti-inflammatory and help to counteract the pro-inflammatory effects of LA omega-6 fats and their derived oils. Omega-6s are especially concentrated in refined vegetable oils such as corn oil, cottonseed oil, sunflower oil, safflower oil, peanut oil, and sesame oil. They are also found in abundance in trans fatty foods as well as meat protein and dairy products. Meat and dairy sources are high in omega-6 because the animal eats the LA-rich foods, which gets concentrated in the flesh, fat, and milk. Best Omega-3 Fatty Acid Food Sources It is very important that a health-promoting diet include plenty of omega-3 fatty acid foods. The top sources for this ALA omega fatty acid are green leafy vegetables, microalgaes, chia seeds, flax seeds, hemp seeds, sacha inchi seeds, with small amounts available in seaweeds, walnuts, and sprouts. Some of these foods can also be concentrated into oils for supplementation purposes. Is fish a good source? The most common source of omega-3 encouraged by the mainstream medical and health community is without a doubt, cold water fish. Although fish can be high in omega-3, the beneficial oils are destroyed when it is cooked at high temperatures. It is therefore best to eat raw fish for optimal omega-3 uptake. In addition, fish also comes with a host of potential toxins and heavy metals that are not good to take in on a regular basis. So you might want to keep these things in mind when using it as a main source of essential 3 fat, like DHA. Green leafy vegetables. The general recommendation for a healthy person consuming a more balanced ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 is 2 grams of ALA a day. Our top recommended source of AFA is without a doubt dark green leafy vegetables. A health-promoting diet should include large amounts of them every day. 
You can achieve this by consuming more salads, green juices, or green smoothies. Most people on a high raw diet generally eat more greens, enjoying them in salads and as wraps for other foods. ALA is in green leafy vegetables because it helps the plant convert sunlight into carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. Typically two heads of lettuce or 125 calories of leafy greens is about one gram of ALA, which is often a lot to eat for the average person. That's why we suggest making green juices and smoothies with chia and hemp as it is more convenient for a busy lifestyle. One heaping tablespoon of flax or chia seeds is roughly two grams of ALA. What is DHA and EPA? EPA and DHA are both omega fatty acids derived from ALA or omega-3. They are both found in cold water algae, which is where the fish get their EPA and DHA. EPA stands for eicosapentaenoic acid and is a 20 carbon chain with five double bonds and is a very important nutrient for controlling and reducing inflammation in the body. EPA is an important precursor to eicosanoids, molecules that regulate the inflammatory response. Generally, EPA can be more effectively converted from ALA-rich foods than DHA. DHA is docosa hexanoic acid and is a 22 carbon chain with six double bonds and plays a vital role in the functioning of the human brain, eyes, heart, reproductive glands, nervous system, and hormone receptors. It is a very important nutrient for pregnant mothers because it is essential to the growth of the fetus and its brain development. Neurological and Brain Functions Our brains are mostly composed of fat and 97% of the fatty acid components that make up our brain are DHA. DHA feeds our brain serious nutrients needed for proper neurological functioning and needs to be replenished on a regular basis through dietary sources. Cognitive illnesses such as Alzheimer's, depression, and PTS disorder have been associated with low levels of DHA in the brain tissue. Do omega-3 foods convert to DHA in the body? It is often suggested, and in some cases scientifically proven, that we can only get EPA and DHA from cold water fish or their extracted oils. However, there are many people in the holistic medical community largely debating this often stated theory. Many believe this varies from person to person and is chiefly dependent on what kind of foods individuals consume overall. There are some health authorities who say that we can indeed convert DHA out of plant-based omega-3 food and oils, but only when the diet offers a balanced ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 in at least a 4 to 1 ratio. This is of course largely debated by the scientific community who only test DHA levels of those eating a predominantly omega-6 rich diet and cannot convert ALA to DHA. Regulates and reduces inflammation. When linoleic acid, omega-6, gets converted to DGLA and then to AA, arachidonic acid, it promotes inflammation in the body. When too much omega-6 food concentrated in AA is consumed over a long period of time, it can create chronic inflammation in the joints and various systems, resulting in a number of health conditions and related diseases. This can be nutritionally corrected by eating and or supplementing the diet with an adequate amount of EPA and DHA food or oil sources. Again, EPA and DHA are natural anti-inflammatory fatty acids that counteract AA fats. Today, omega-3 is an essential nutrient, most often lacking in 90 to 95% of the population. So if you experience chronic inflammation, you might want to consider adding more of this essential omega fatty acid to your current diet regime. improves cardiovascular health. The omega-3 fats and their derived oils are imperative for the health of the entire cardiovascular system and are particularly good for lowering blood pressure, normalizing cholesterol levels, and maintaining artery health. They are well known and researched for their effects at reducing the risk of cardiovascular disease and related ailments, largely in part due to their ability to eliminate or reduce inflammation. 
good for weight loss. The proper balance of essential fatty acids helps prevent addiction to unhealthy foods. They also ease the intensity of symptoms during the transition from processed foods to healthier food choices. Omega fatty acids satisfy cravings, provide a feeling of fullness, and fulfill important nutritional requirements. EFAs also elevate mood and lip depression, which is a common reason why some people overeat. They enhance feelings of joy and increase energy levels, so we feel like being active and motivated in our lives. Other benefits of omega fatty acids. Another function of EFAs or omegas is the production of prostaglandins, hormone-like molecules which regulate bodily functions such as heart rate, blood pressure, blood clotting, muscular contractions, fertility, and conception. They play a role in immune function by regulating inflammation and encouraging the body to fight infection. These fatty acids also form a barrier in our skin that protects against moisture loss and dehydration, providing smooth, supple, youthful skin. Omega-3 Fatty Acid Foods List Leafy green vegetables, blue-green algae, flax seeds and oil, chia seeds, sacha inchi oil, hemp seeds and oil, chlorella, walnuts, sprouts, marine phytoplankton, wild edible greens, raw cold water fish. Omega-3 Oil Supplementation Depending on the foods you consume, Additional supplementation may be required for you to achieve optimal omega fatty acid balance. There are several fish, krill, and algae-based oils to choose from that we would recommend. Algae oils are a better alternative for those following a vegan diet, and they also have potentially less heavy metals and other toxins that are common in fish and krill living in aquatic ocean environments. Our two favorite vegan algae omega-3 oils are Ovega-3 oil and Omega-Zen-3 oil. Our two favorite krill and fish oils are Dr. Mercola's krill oil and Nordic Naturals purified fish oil. Thanks for watching, and for more good fats, visit superfoodsforsuperhealth.com. Give us a thumbs up if you found this video useful.